All right, so the BJP and the Congress will be pulling all stops in the days to come. Prime Minister Modi, Home Minister Amit Shah will be touching down here in Telangana in the next two days. We're hearing that from 24th November, that's from Friday, Prime Minister Modi and Amit Shah will be holding back-to-back -back rallies, back-to-back -back road shows. As far as the Congress is concerned, Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, Malika Kharge, all of them will also put all of their energy on Telangana. The Congress is likely to also end their campaign with a ban, with Sonia Gandhi being a part of the last rally in Telangana. This will either be on 27th or on 28th. And you can expect the Congress to ensure that all of their top leaders here in the state come together for that last rally. The Congress really, really expecting that this time around they will be able to win Telangana and they've got a good chance. My rating on the ground is that they've definitely made inroads this time around and they stand a good chance of actually stopping the case here, Jagannath. Apurva Jay Chandran is joining us with more details on this. Uh, the political temperature is all set to soar here, Apurva. Good evening. Take us through what the campaign schedule looks like in the coming days because all the big leaders from Delhi are going to be camping in Telangana. Akshita, first of all, uh, you know, it's going to be a jam-packed session the next couple of days. Uh, like you rightly mentioned, we're going to see tall leaders from both the Bharti Janta Party as well as the Congress who will be joining here and will be campaigning here. We, we're going to see Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the Union Home Minister Amit Shah as well uh, from the BJP who are going to come down here and will be campaigning. In fact, today we saw Nirmala Sitaraman, uh, the Union Finance Minister there who had held a press meet uh, earlier this evening here in Hyderabad. Just like that, the next couple of days, it's going to be an interesting uh, set of sessions for the Bharti Janta Party here in across various constituencies in Telangana. On the other side, we're also seeing several tall leaders from the Congress, uh, like the AICC chief, Malikarjun Karge, as well as Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi themselves, who will also be coming down for uh, you know a campaigning here as well. Talks are on that will most likely Sonia Gandhi, like you mentioned, is also expected to come down here for the last campaign for the last flag of the camp, uh, you know uh, Congress here. It looks to be that both these tall national parties, the Congress and the Bharatiya Janata Party, are going to be pulling in all their uh, you know uh, power, all of their strength down. When it comes to the ground here in Telangana, we're going to be going ahead to polls in less than 10 days. And this is going to be the scenario for the next couple of days here. Remember, the you know, the counting of votes is on December 3rd and all eyes are on to see whether it's going to be the BRS, which is going in to win a to massive go, hand. From what you're telling us of the BJP and the Congress going ahead with this massive campaign, do we have any details about where these rallies are going to take place? Because both the BJP and the Congress will be looking at turning things around in seats where they believe they have a really, really good chance or in segments where they feel that, you know, that could be the game changer for them. Well, you know, what, as of now, uh, all of these uh, campaigning that has been done by Union Home Minister Amit Shah and several other leaders from BJP have already been in, uh, you know, tall constituencies, constituencies that have been important, you know, be it uh, uh, Adilabad or several other regions. All of these are strong uh, cadres and strong factors there for the BJP. The Bharti Janta Party, uh, you know, is really focusing on these major, uh, you know, constituencies mm. where they do see a chance of them coming, to, uh, you know, winning uh, in uh, in a huge margin. But at the same time, the Congress there, remember, Raven Reddy is being pleaded in across two seats, including himself. Remember, he's also chief ministerial candidate there. He's going to be campaigning and contesting against KCR himself. The BJP okay. there, given Itala Rajender, who's also be going to campaigning and against KCR in Gajwal, while Raven Reddy against KCR in Kamariti. So we see it's going to be a battle as to see who's going to be the next chief ministerial candidate or who's going to be the chief minister of Telangana next. But we are seeing that all Correct. important are being hit at by these tall leaders. It's going to be a close neck to neck watch as we're going to see several okay. tall leaders coming in and, you know, a uh, very, Thank very true. So we'll see how this plays out. Next few days, extremely crucial, and every political party recognizes that. Thanks very much, Apurva, for getting us those details.